Hi there everyone, welcome back again to Nigi Tech. In this video, we will be talking about some of the latest offering from both Intel and AMD. And we're going to talk about their mid-ranger, which is from Intel Ultra 5 series of processor. And then from AMD, it would be 9600X. So let's compare them head to head and then let's see which one is better and why. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the trend of 2025, which is AI and machine learning performance. Starting with Intel counterpart, which is Ultra 5 to 45K. So I would say this particular processor model is a successor of last year model 4i5-14600K. I mean, we used to have a K variant in i5 also, and then sometime people used to call it, oh, this is i7 actually, but just the name is i5 because of the letter K in the end, people sometime expect that kind of performance. So let's see this new naming, which is now ultra processors, going to carry forward the same legacy of this core i5 K variant. Okay, so now let's come back to AI and machine learning performance. I would say Intel have done a very good job in this particular category, especially when let's say you are not using a dedicated GPU. Because Intel came up with a dedicated NPU or neural processing unit, and then it also talks about the TOPS number and support framework like OpenVINO, DirectML, and Windows ML. This makes this processor superior or I'm gonna say more optimized for AI driven tasks such as machine learning interference, video editing and real time analytics. But when we talk about AMD Ryzen 5 9600X, this particular model lacks dedicated AI hardware and relies solely on CPU cores for AI workloads. So for sure, in this particular category, Intel Core Ultra 5 245K definitely going to win. However, if you have a plan to use dedicated GPU, then you do not need to worry about because dedicated GPUs are many fold stronger and sometimes what happens is every brand have their own priority or optimization for you know their models. So I'm gonna say uh, when we talk about AMD and specifically this Ryzen 5 9600X, this is more optimized for gaming. Where we see the popular title, for example, Cyberpunk, Horizon Forbidden West, Red Dead Redemption 2 perform equal or even better in case of AMD. So if you are building a machine which is specifically for gaming, then AMD Ryzen 9600X makes more sense compared to Intel counterpart. And that too at noticeably lower price, not only for CPU, but also for motherboard. Now let's talk about productivity and multi-core performance. In this particular category, I'm gonna say on all the tests, Intel leads by good margin. For example, when we talk about Geekbench 6 multi-core, Intel leads by around 9.9%, which is over 16,000 versus 15,000. Similarly, we can see the result in case of Adobe Premiere Pro, Blender rendering, and aggregate performance. And I'm gonna give this credit to more number of cores in Intel counterparts. The Intel comes with six performance cores and eight E cores, which in total is 14 number of cores. When we talk about AMD, it have got six cores and 12 threads. However, AMD have a significantly lower TDP of just 65 watts against 125 of base TDP in case of Intel. And this is happening despite Intel is running at 125 watt due to its more optimized process node, which is Intel 20A or TSMC 3 nanometer. It runs cooler in similar watt of power consumption. And while I was doing research about both these CPU, I came to know Intel is around 30% more thermally efficient in sustained load when compared to its AMD counterpart. But story does not end here. Let's talk about memory and platform feature. The Intel Ultra 5 245K now officially support a DDR5 memory up to 64 megahertz of speed. However, it is up to us, we can always overclock it. When we talk about Ryzen 5 9600X, it comes with slightly lower 5600 MHz of memory support. The Intel Midranger supports both PCIe 4.0 as well as PCIe Gen 5.0. And then it comes with a total number of 20 lanes. However, when we talk about 9600X, 
it not only comes with PCIe Gen 5, but it also support four more lanes, which is 24 lanes. If we talk about motherboard chipset, since this is new series for Intel, they came up with a new chipset, which is Z890. Or let's say you would like to go with a business series, then B860 is the chipset that you would want to go. However, when we talk about AMD, it still comes with AM5 platform. Therefore, you can get a noticeably cheaper motherboard or let's say you want to simply swipe or upgrade your processor. You can do that. And generally X870E or B650 would be slightly cheaper when compared to Intel counterpart. If you talk about graphics, both these CPUs also comes with integrated graphic. For example, from Intel, it is Arc Xe2 that support 8K and AV1 encoding. When we talk about AMD, it comes with Radeon Graphics RDNA2. And apart from conventional I.O., Intel also support Thunderbolt 4. However, we see this particular support is missing in AMD counterpart. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about a very important aspect especially in this particular category, which is pricing. So if we talk about AMD, AMD I'm gonna say is significantly cheaper, especially in my country, which is India. Then I'm gonna say from pricing perspective, which one makes sense in which country and which one not. So let me quickly jump into my computer screen. So here, if I talk about the Intel processor, here you can see the price is whopping 41,000. However, when we talk about AMD, it is under 25,000, uh, which make this processor really worth considering at this price. And Intel for this particular price point does not make sense at all. However, when we talk about USA, the processor here is quite cheap. So, um, and then, and I'm gonna also check the pricing for this AMD processor. So let me actually have a look here. AMD Ryzen 5 9600X. Okay, so seems like this processor is not available in Amazon US, but I guess for this particular price, this processor makes sense. Okay, so as I said, from pricing perspective, if you want to buy one of these processor in India, I'm gonna definitely put my money on AMD. But at the same time, maybe in your country, the pricing gap is not that high, then in that case, I'm gonna also recommend these both processors based on their use case scenario. So if you are looking for an AI productivity processor, go for Intel Ultra 5 because of dedicated NPU, 14 cores processor, and faster memory. When we talk about gaming, Ryzen 5 should be your choice. Also, in case of value for money and pricing, again, it can be subjective as I told, based on country to country in my country ryzen makes more sense so that's all guys from my side in this video if you have got any kind of questions or doubt or you want to give me any feedback please feel free to ping me in comment down below also don't forget to subscribe to negi tech for more such video and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye